everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kayleigh, I am a mum of three and I virtually vlog about anything. Today's vlog is going to be a what I eat in a day on the Slimming World plan. Um, I know that we're all struggling with Slimming World just now, we don't have any face to face groups. We have just started a sim call group which is really really good, um, so that's kind of helpful for us. I don't know if every group's doing that but I know my group is. Um, so I just thought I would come on and do a, what I eat in a day, so I've got a breakfast, a lunch and a dinner. Um, I threw in some snacks and I've also threw in some tips that's helping me stay motivated and staying on a plan. Um, so yeah, I really hope you find it helpful. I hope if you take in if they agreed it's a way of face that you can find the products for them because I know where I live our supermarkets are absolutely horrendous just now and I'm pretty sure it'll be where you live as well. I really struggled to get spaghetti and pasta but I finally got them. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on and do a quick what I eat in a day. So if you decide, please give me a big thumbs up, hit subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! So for our breakfast I am going to have porridge oats with an orange a little bit of gingerbread syrup and some cinnamon. I try and eat cinnamon quite a lot because it is really, really good for weight loss. So I'm allowed 40 grams of my porridge oats from a healthy extra A. I'm having it with coconut milk, um, so it's part, no, porridge oats is my healthy extra B. My milk is part of my healthy extra A and I allowed 400 um, of coconut milk but I never use 400 and I'll not even use the 300 in my oats. My orange is speed, my cinnamon is free and then my gingerbread syrup is zero point, well half a sin, half a sin for a teaspoon um, but I'll just drizzle a little bit of that over my porridge oats um, so we'll weigh that out just now. I try and eat breakfast, some mornings I don't feel hungry but I'll grab something quick because the kids, um, they like, love homemade pancakes and stuff for breakfast so it just saves me picking if I just, um, like, have something before they get up so I'm not hungry when I'm making theirs, if that makes sense. Um, then some days, like, I'm not hungry and I just kind of be bothered eating so I don't eat anything um, and I try and have, like, a late breakfast, early lunch. So I've weighed them out. I'm going to add in my milk and then I'm going to just shove it in the microwave for a couple of minutes because I can't be bothered putting it in the hob and stuff. I'm not that, not a chef. Like I'm not very fancy. So we'll just shove that on top like that. I'm going to shove it in for a minute and then I'll take it out and I'll start and shove it in for another minute. So the porridge is ready, um, as you can see I only used half of my milk allowance, well that's not even half oat because you're allowed 400ml of the coconut milk, my bottle only holds 300 um, so I've used just to the 150 so that's fine. So I'm going to add in my orange now, <coughs> like, I'm so excited for this breakfast, it's so lush, I love it and it just like starts you up for the day you're not hungry when you're making the kids' breakfast and yeah it's really good just to get up and have your breakfast first so I'm just going to go in with that so I've just squirted a bit on and then I like love cinnamon so I just load it with cinnamon because it's just the best thing ever so there we have it that is my breakfast my porridge and I'll have a strong black coffee with it and that's it healthy option so the kids are up um, and they've had their breakfast and I survived. I didn't have any temptation of having any pancakes, which every morning is like a victory for me because I make pancakes every morning for them. But I try and defeat the whole, I'll just take a nibble, because um, the nibbles just lead up and lead up. So my next thing that I kind of try and have every morning is I just plus up ift. Um, Juice Plus isn't for everyone and I know some people like are total against Juice Plus but I suffer really low vitamin D um, <coughs> so I'm on quite a high dosage of medication but I just feel as if it never helps I still feel sluggish, I still feel really tired 
and everything is just an effort. So I started these Just Look Plus Uplifts about a month ago and I swear I will never ever ever look back. They just give you such a boost, it's unbelievable. They're all made from natural ingredients so I don't have to send anything. Um, so all I do is fill this up halfway um, with water and then it's like a powder. So I just shove the powder in and then I like to give it a blast on my blender. Um, I don't know why, like to drink them without being the blender, what am I doing? To drink them without in the blender is disgusting, like I actually hate it. So I like to just give it a blast on the blender. Yeah, so I'll just put it in the blender um, and I just give it like, not even a minute, like I just shove it on, um, give it a blast and that is us. I don't even think that's switched on. So that's it and it just like makes sure all the powder is all gone um, I don't like drinking out this bottle so I just empty it into another bottle with a straw and drink it like that but like I said just plus isn't for everyone um, but I can't fault it and I really really like the uplifts and the energy that it gives me another tip guys I would probably give you is always to keep a cup of juice or a bottle of water out and handy it's probably the laziness bit of me but if I don't have a cup of juice or water sitting there for me to drink then I'll just not have a drink and we all know that keeping dehydrated is really good for weight loss boost another tip I would say is always have a planner to hand and um, so I purchased this planner from Princess Planning over on Instagram but I'm sure they do have a website as well it is so good it's got everything in it that you need it's got inspirational quotes quotes just to keep you going it's got stickers um, so you've got your what you've lost every week stickers you've got your on plan off plan stickers and then you've got your bigger weight loss achievements stickers and you've also got your weight day stickers so I would 100% recommend buying one of these. I know some people would say, oh, I wouldn't pay the money for that. But honest to God, it is a total game changer. You will not regret it. Um, so it's got your 12 week countdown. I've actually not filled in. Um, but it's got your weight loss chart, which I do fill in. If you go over, you have got your weekly meal planner. If Canon would like to focus for me. So you've got your weekly meal planner. So you can write down what you're having for your breakfast, lunch and dinner every day of the week and then we'll just show you this one so it's got your healthy option your health B option your breakfast what you've had for your lunch what you've had for your dinner it's got your snacks your water intake and it also has your sins so every time you have a sin you can just score it off I just think it's so handy to have and then if one week you have like say a really really good loss you can just reflect back to that week to see what you've ate or what you've done to have that loss it's also got a fitness and steps bit as well so you can write down what exercise you've done for that day so these are probably two of my top tips just because i'm so lazy always have a drink sitting and always keep a planner of what you're eating so um it's now coming up to lunchtime i've not actually been up to much today just tidying up around the house and doing odd jobs so for lunch i am having some homemade tarty soup um, I'm not a big soup lover and if I make it for the kids on my own I don't tend to eat it but when my mum makes it a pot I always eat it so it's just full of three ingredients and lots of speed so I would 100% recommend a soup for lunch um, it's saving your sins for later on and it's packed with speed so it's a really good weight loss booster so it's like Two o'clock in the afternoon now um, and we are just chilling watching some television so I've just made myself a black coffee and I'm going to have a skinny whip bar these are really nice I love them and um, these are four and a half cents I order mine off eBay but skinny whip website do actually deliver straight to your door it's just trying to get them in stock but yeah they're the perfect little treat for four and a half cents and they're really really yummy so I would recommend trying to get some of them as well so for dinner tonight we're having spaghetti bolognese so all you need for that is your 5% fat lean beef mince I've only used half of that 
and um, because it's just me that's having it tonight so I'm going to use the other half to make a minty creation chicken pasta you'll also need your veg so in mine I put in a red paper three mushrooms three onions and two garlic cloves I then put in a tin of chopped tomatoes passata tomato puree and done spaghetti so I've got the mince cooking it is like half cooked already so I'm going to chuck the veg in and just so it's all cooked thoroughly so all the veg is in and I'm just going to leave it do its thing and get all cooked through once it is cooked through I'm then going to go ahead and add in my tomato and my passata and if it needs a bit of thick and dark starts then I'll add in some tomato puree just to thicken that up but I'm going to just leave this cook while I get the pasta sorted and get it on. So I've added in the tomatoes and the tomato puree um, just giving it a wee second to see if I need to add in some tomato puree just to see if what the? So I've added in the chopped tomatoes and some tomato pasta I'm just giving it a wee second to boil to see if I need to add in some tomato puree just to thicken it up. Pasta is on, it's cooking away nicely. So yeah, I'm so excited. So what I like to do with my spag bowl is because she's allowed two healthy extra eggs. Um, I've had my milk this morning, so that's classed as one. So I'm going to have like 30 grams of cheddar cheese on top of my spag bowl. Um, and that's my two healthy extra eggs gone. But it just gives it an extra taste. Once it's kind of cooked as well, I'll add in some salt and some paper um, and that'll just season it a wee bit too. But it's so simple, so easy to make and it's like one of my main go-to meals. So I'm going to use the rest of the mince later to cook up a kind of mincy Cajun chicken pasta and I'll also use the rest of my passata in that as well just so I'm not wasting any food. Um, but yeah, that's my spag bowl cooking nicely. So I'll show you it when it's ready and it's got the cheese on it. So that's the spag bowl made. Um, it's such a good meal. It's all free. The only thing that I have to send is my cheese that I'm going to put on top and that's going to go as my healthy extra. So you're having a good nutrition, nutritious dinner for no sense and absolutely free, which I think is superb. We're steaming up. Great stuff. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm having for dinner tonight. So the kids are now in bed and I'm just going to have an hour to myself. Um, usually at night I either watch some YouTube or edit some vlogs that I've done. So when I'm doing this I like to have a snack. Um, so this is like an alternative kind of sweet snack. So I just mix up some orange, some banana and just put some cinnamon over it. This just replaces like chocolate or because it's really sweet. So if I'm feeling really peckish but don't have many sins left, I just hit it up with cinnamon and some fruit because it's so sweet. But I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. It was just three easy meal options and some snack ideas and I'll see you all in my next video.